Uh, we've been hustling, we've been struggling, we've been shuffling, we've been rumbling, rumbling in the jungle, say young man, rumble, never give up, no crumble, yo, always stay humble when I stay humble, never fumble, always stay a king, always stay on my throat, always stay home, now I finally came back home, back to the motherland. Came back to mother's plan, back to a master plan, shit that they understand. Left in a slave ship, came back on a spaceship, out the matrix, since the African matrix. Nigga, face it, your time still wasted, working for everybody. Yo, free land. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Africanity, live from Black Ambassadors, new studio, new vibes, new lifestyle. So, what I'm going to go through today is free land in Ghana. I seen everybody in Ghana. I seen people out there. Yo, shout outs to Dr. Boyce Watkins. Everybody who was out there in Ghana. Somebody you probably know, Cardi B. Somebody you probably know, Puff Daddy, Steve Harvey. I don't know. We see a couple of people out there going to actual Ghana. So, why are we talking about being in Ghana? Let's talk about how we get free land in Ghana. You heard what I said, man. Not a 40 acres in a mule, but at least you get some acre. You get an acre, a quarter acre, something like that. You get an acre. You get an acre. Yo, it's getting free land, tangibles, in 2020, year of return, 2019. You know what I'm saying? So, let's keep moving with the vibes and energy. I usually talked about investing, but come on, all you have to do is invest time and some money to get free land in Ghana. So let's go. Here's the website right here. I hope you guys are tracking right here on the screen. Let's go. The Pan-African Village Project, uniting Africa and restoring Africans. Africa for Africans, man. It's not just talk, talk. it's tangibles right here. So when you go on the website, you can actually go into the history this is an about page. You got our culture, right? You have the community tab where you can learn more. You have the Pan-African Village Project. This is where we want to go. This is where we want to go. We want to go to the project to actually get more information about the project. So this is what I'm going into. Excuse my computer because it's being kind of slow because we're talking about free land in Africa. So, you know, the Internet feels some type of way about it. So this is the introduction. Africans all over the world are being systematically assaulted. We are so traumatized that we suffer from many mental, physical, social, and emotional disorders. Those of us who were displaced during chattel slavery are totally disconnected from our roots and have no concrete link to our original families or tribes. Until now, baby. So now we're worried about the mission. What's the mission? of the Pan-African Village Project. Here we go. Pan-African Village exists to assist diaspora Africans in the return to Africa. We offer affordable housing, wellness services, and land acquisition opportunities. Our ultimate goal is the unification and restoration of Africans and the total liberation of Africa. That's a big mission. And here are the goals. Here are the objectives, 10 point plans, man, right here. Point plans, telling people what to do, what we're about. So criteria, let's go to that because we learned about the opportunity. Let's go into the criteria. They got videos in here. All recipients of offered land are required to, we got up to 10 points. And as you can see, be African through biological family ancestry and genealogy. You tracking? Compete or complete the living in Ghana orientation, 30 day residential program offered at Pan African Village. Present a current police report or background check with government identification to the living in Ghana orientation. That's like a committee, right? Number four, participate in the local community benefits program. And you see the rest of things being outlined, respecting the culture. You got to at least be around here for two weeks and every two years. Uh, break ground on building within 12 months of the acquisition. So if you're ready to build a house, you're ready to get that free land in Ghana. This is great opportunity. Uh, appreciation, a token to the king. Shout out to the king that is actually doing it. Let's go to the application form. People are going to be like, yo, how difficult it is. 
it has to be very difficult. Here we go. Title. Mr. Mrs. You know what I'm saying? Sex. Male or female. Last name. Bam, bam, bam. You type in your information. Bam, bam. And then you type in the rest of the information. Place of passport issued, passport number, all this other stuff. Marital status, right? Number of children, contact numbers. Why are you coming to Ghana? Background check explanation. Here we go. Upload your CV, your resume. Here we go. Upload the passport size photo, the digital one, and checklist. Here's your check. You read the criteria. Bam, bam. Agree to all the terms. Bam, bam. Background check. That's the one you're getting. And $700 deposit. <gasps> it's not free. The land is not free. $700 deposit is a part of the fee that goes with what? You got to do what you got to do. You got to execute it legally. You got to get your documentation together. You got to get pay your government fees to get the land in your name and the deed. So these things is what the $700 is for. Right? Our criteria, opportunity. We have a blog, a media center with photos and videos. Right? So shout outs to the king. Shout outs to the president of Ghana, who's really been tapping into the actual gift of the diaspora, Africans. And yo, I don't need to drop that burner boy message, but if I had to drop a message from burner boy, it would be that we were all Africans before you were anything else. I'm talking about black people. I'm talking about tangibles in 2020 because it's about to be 2020. So for New Year's, you know, happy Independence Haitian Day. That's what I celebrate on the drop of the ball. You know, Haiti's Independence, January the 1st. Shout out to them. That's my New Year's. My New Year's to be revolutionary in everything that I do. And right here on Black Ambassador, invest now. Here's some time to invest. Time, energy, $700, and etc. you know, for expenses and for plane ticket in 10, 30 days, you know, things of that nature. But you're still paying that when you invest in any other property in the United States outside of your actual home city or your home state. We're called choices. So here we go, free tangible land. You asking somebody to cut the check, Ghana has cut the land, cut the property already has cut down that for you to come back repatriate shout out to the elder generation that wants to go back is ready to retire here's an opportunity here's some land there's not only land here there's land in senegal that's actually being planned and developed right now shout out to made in africa project look that up wait hold on Y'all see, y'all see what pop up, man. I'm always, I'm always on the go. I'm trying to get my stuff from China. Look at that. Boom. Building the African Renaissance. There's people out here, right here. Shop Africa. Visit Africa. Invest in Africa. Relocate to Africa. And they're building the city too. So we got opportunity all over. Tangibles all over the world. This is happening. Africa Day 2020, Right? So I'm not even going to address all the naysayers out there. I'm going to keep it in the box to invest in Africa. This is the opportunity now. So an invest now is always about investing in opportunities, right? In businesses out there. But also invest is not literally only economical. This is also economically beneficial. But never, needless to say, also investing in your right, your birthright, and your Africanity by taking back your claims of your land that is actually being cut from the actual African countries. Once again, I got to say it, tangibles in 2020, people. So let's go over here. They got blogs. They got photos, videos. Here's the contact information. I'm also going to shout out to another brother right now. Here we go. I think that's it right there. Bam, bam. This brother right here is on the ground. He's going to get you what you need right here. So he's already in there. You see him with Dr. Boyce walking. Shout out to Dr. Boyce. You see him around rapper T.I. and the wifey. Shout out to them for going down there. Here we go right here. This is what happened. This is what's going on in the ground. Look at this right here. People are going there. That's not only me saying this, right? 
Africans in the diaspora need to re-Africanize to see the benefits that come out of Africa. I don't know if that's the actual end of it, but nevertheless, he has the information. Shout out to him. He also has the video. I got his contact information in my phone. I will pull the bad boy up. You understand? Like you can get connected right now to Africans on the continent. It, it, the, the, the opportunity is now. The opportunity is here. How long have I been going? For about 11 minutes. So let me tap out at 11 minutes, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Africa for Africans all day. I don't know what else to say to you guys. You know? I, I, I hope that you find this great. I hope you find this beneficial. Oh, shout outs to Abibi to me. Look, they already taking down Dr. Amos Wilson clothes. Hold on. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, they was really getting at us. So this is what we need to do. We need to stay focused, stay with the agenda, and go back to Africa for visit, for investment, for visiting, for investment. Whatever you have to do, by any means necessary, re-Africanize yourself, check out the motherland. Right here, once again, on Invest Now, Mr. Africanity, live from the new studio. Let's go, man. Africa, one united. Let's go, man. Opportunity now. You see it. I'm on my presidential stuff. Oh, y'all need to Got that covered up, huh? Look at that. You see the African pendant? You see it? You see the flags on there? Presidential. Let's go, man. Africa for Africans. All god dang day. No longer working for anybody, working for myself, in my health, in my wealth, in my nation, building nature greatness. Back to the African Empire once again. No need to make friends. See, yeah, I got all my kin, black family, dog. This is where it's evident. Heard the president of Ghana say that the black people around the world today. Power and destiny is connected to the motherland. Shit you didn't overstand. Now you need to understand the master plan. Black to the blueprint. Black blueprint, man. Back to the better land. Back to the motherland. Back to an African. Africa for Africans. Now I'm finally African once again. Like Bernie said, before you was anything else, you was African. Before you was American. Before you was Japanese. Before you was Russian. Before you was European. You was African. You still was African, man. Before you was Brazilian or anything, you've always been an African.